Albert Einstein once he was a professor at uh, Princeton. So he was setting this question paper and he gave his question papers to his assistant to get it printed. And the assistant asked him. Einstein laughed and said, yes it is. Isn't this a problem? asked the assistant. For which Einstein answered, the questions are the same, but the answers this time are different. So that's what I'm going to cover today. We are talking about monitoring in solar plants. Two years back, if you ask, how do I monitor a large PV plant, the answer was PLCs, PLC system, right? So three years back. But today, if you ask the same question, the answer is different. Things change with time and technology has changed too. So, just to give you an idea on why we should monitor. This is, for example, if you just go to Google and search for this Ultra Mega Solar Park, which is in Karnool, it's for a gigawatt. Look at this area. It is 26 kilometer around. So, think about monitoring this plant. Yes, Amrit was talking about hybrid inverters. That is just one component, right? So, talking about one gigawatt, there are thousands and thousands of equipments out in the field and you need to have a very good monitoring system, right? So, this is, you know, just for your reference, the number of modules we have, you know, it's more than uh, 3 lakh modules and the cables, kilometer-wise cables and each and every component needs monitoring, okay? Now, why do you really need a, a good system? What is it actually you really gain? So by monitoring, what do you do? One, of course, you don't want to see the system being down. So I, I was just surprised when he said, uh, again, for a question, how long an inverter would survive, two years back, people said 25 years, and today I heard the answer as five years, right? Again, things are changing. So, you can identify the faults, not just that. By a good monitoring system, what you can really do is study the, the losses. So, I saw, I showed you the plant map, right? It's around kilometers of area, and these are the kind of losses we are talking about, PV related losses. So they sold the panels or the modules telling that it will work for 25 years. You are yet to see that the losses has to be monitored. Cabling losses, kilometers of cables in a field and each, the, the resistance of the cable, they would have sold you giving the specification there. But does it really behave that way? You need to monitor them and capture what else? Inverter losses. They claim 99% performance guarantee. These are the kind of numbers we talk. But are they really behaving so? Right? That is what you need to find out. And of course, transformer losses. Is the transformer really maintained well? These are the things which you need to monitor. And of course, the transmission line losses, we can't help much with that. However, it is still worth monitoring it because a good rain can bring a tree down and you will definitely see the ground for sale. So the point here is the equipments in the field are totally spread around, it's distributed and it is very very important to monitor the entire solar plant, not just one or two equipments. Okay. So my talk today was mainly to compare a PLC based scatter system with a IoT based scatter system. We'll just give a rough idea why is that actually, you know, PLC based systems may not be quite reliable. So overall if you see a PLC based system, you do all these wirings. So what I'm showing is a block diagram, but in a physical world, this is kilometer wise distribution of these cables. So it is all cable to an large PLC controller, each inverter blocks, you know, there will be several inverter blocks and they are all wired using fiber optics cable and then at the control panel or actually the control room, you have this large panel sitting there. So this is a typical PLC based system. The question is, do you really have to invest so much of money and time to set up this system? 
Even the maintenance is a big challenge because so much of cables running around and one cable damages, you are gone. Of course, they say that there is a ring protection, but you got just two chance. One side goes in, the other ring takes up, but the other side goes, you are doomed, right? So this is about a PLC based scanner system. Now, how is, of course, I just told you it's a messy cables and the expensive hardware is what really makes it uh, uh, a problem. An IoT based solution, right? So here, what you really see is just the signals being transmitted in Wi-Fi, right? And the wireless media, it can be RF, LoRa, whatever it is. So you basically don't need to have cables in the field at all. That's the whole idea of actually going uh, uh, IoT. And the data is sent to the cloud from multiple point, points. So if the solar power plant is spread around acres of land, you don't have single point of failures like in a PLC SCADA where it's all going through cable. So independently data reaches the cloud, worst case one gateway is down, you're still left with all other data coming in there. And of course, you know, it is very simple hardware, just give a demo later. Now, there's another term when it comes to this IoT. Cloud is something which all of you have heard of, edge computing. So this is another terminology. So when you say IoT, it's not just well, the device sitting there and collecting data. So conceptually, yes, the device collects the data, sends to the cloud. Now, in a solar PV plant, so you can see there are inverters, there are string combiner boxes, transformers, every minute you send around 300 bytes of data for just one mega uh, watt of uh, solar power plant. So it's gigabytes worth of data if you really see annually. So all this data is going to the cloud and sitting there. So the question is, do you want to do the analysis in the cloud or can some of the analysis, can it be done at the field level? This is basically what we call it as edge computing. So when you say edge computing, you get the data and do the basic processing right at the plant. For example, one SCB is down, a combiner box is down. So data need not go all the way till the cloud and by the time you get the alert, no, there could be an issue. Say for example, internet is down, you won't get the message that the system is down at all. So, so what we have incorporated at Avisola, basically in our product is Eagles and SCADA, where you do a lot of processing right at the edge. So edge computing is the future of IoT, especially for this domain, in a solar power plant, where the huge amount of data is collected. Maybe for building automation or actually for home usages of IoT, this might not be needed because you don't have a big surroundings as such. But for solar power plant, it does make a, a big difference. Right? Again, why edge computing? Just repeating what I said, a lot of failures can be alerted right at the field. For some reason, your internet is down. This is a typical scenario. We are we have done OMS for more than 800 megawatts at Avi Solar, and we have seen in a lot of plants the internet is not working. Either they have gone for a lease line kind of a thing, wherein they are unable to, or actually the maintenance cost of lease line is quite high. So the internet is not working. So this is where the alert system right at the plant level can be, you know, really beneficial. So in summary, data is going towards, you know, big data. So that's the jargon we see, right? Not just operational, we can also do a lot of predictive analytics. In a solar power plant, you don't have a single moving thing. When I say moving, well, machineries, you know, where there are wear and tear. In a solar power plant, we don't have any such thing. So it is mainly based on the historic data. So you need to really capture the data and the signature of this data can give you a lot of insights on how your equipment is performing. So that is the kind of intelligent models we have built in our company and based on that you can really do a lot of predictive analytics. And of course this is highly scalable 
If you want to install a SCADA system for 100 megawatt plant using a PLC based system, it will take nothing less than 2 months. But in our case, even 20 megawatt plants we have installed within 2 or 3 days. So that's the kind of ease of installation we are talking about. And it is, well, the scalability. If you want to add another set of power plants, say for example in solar uh, parks where you, know, you have commissioned one small plant and now you are actually you know, uh, commissioning the other, you can just add on to your existing software. So it's ease of use or scalability is uh, another thing. So simplicity, ease of use. So this is where actually I just want to demonstrate how simple it is. So I just, uh, you know, go to one of our uh, site where internet is actually the only limitation now to browse it, but just wanted to show you, right. So what you're seeing here is the, the live data of a plant. So this is Eagles and SCADA, a flagship product of uh, uh, Avi Solar, wherein you can monitor all your plants in one dashboard. So I'm not exposing all the plants here, this this limited plants because we have got NDAs with customers, we can't uh, do that. But I'm just showing a couple of things. As a dashboard, how does it really look like? As a plant owner, all you want to see is how is my, is are there any alerts at the plant or everything is green? So what you see here is, you know, the great inverter, if something is down, you will get a uh, red signal. So you can really go into a uh, plant here. I'll try to go, hopefully the internet is on at the plant. Uh, let me see that. So what you are seeing here is a, a live data of a, a 2 megawatt plant or I am attempting to attempting to connect here. Alright, I think what has happened is... Okay, so, so you see the, the live data here and you know, there are just uh, two inverters here. So you can see the power, you can see the energy, you can see the total or you can see, uh, you know, inverter wise actually how it is coming. So, the same thing, in a PLC based data, you if you want to log into the plant and look into the data, then you need to run an application here, you need to log in there. So what I'm trying to say is in an IoT, the ease of use is just ultimate. You can get into or log into your app or actually here as I showed you, it's just as a web portal. We will give the, the login to the customers and you can really look into any data you want. So what I'm trying to show here is, you know, the, the SCB data, for example, you can see the screen here simply shows the what you're seeing here is the live data you can see that some of the scbs are you know performing slightly lesser than to the other one so this is what really gives you a clear indication i think with the speaker before me here amrit was talking about the module not cleaning uh, not being cleaned properly so all those things basically lead to a different output and this in a click you can see the comparison and really uh, you know see what's happening in the plant so the whole idea here, I was trying to say is switch to IoT based SCADA from a PLC based SCADA. Now, there are many clients or actually many, many customers talking to us who have installed a PLC based SCADA and now they are stuck. They are not able to get the data. Avisolar has a solution for that. With the existing hardware itself, we can plug on our controller, it's called Epic. It's an IoT controller and we can give our dashboard where we can, you can see the entire data. So switching even from PLC to an IoT based data, it is very cheap, it's very economical and this would really help you improve the performance of the plants. So thank you very much. So that's the presentation I had. By the way, my name is Som Shekhar, you can call me Soma. I am the CTO of Avisolar and we have a booth here in um, hall number one. So thank you very much. If there is any questions, I can take it. Oh. Thank you.